working on Toy Story was kind of neat because for us, we were trying to figure out how to take something we'd only done in very, very small amounts, short films, TV commercials, and make it 75 minutes long. And, you know, the story was like, wait a minute here, this is a much more difficult thing than I thought. When we started with Disney, they had people who had had a lot of experience making films, and they had been through it, they knew what to do. So we looked to them as initially as, they're gonna school us, they're gonna teach us how, how to work. Here's like the first year on the film was like, we would board a sequence, and then Tom Schumacher and Peter Schneider would fly up, and they would give us tons of notes on the boards, changes to make, ways to improve it to make it better. And then we would crank, turn around those notes, and then we'd fly down to Disney pin up our boards, and they'd give us more notes. And we'd even make changes that night, and then like at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. the next morning, very early mornings, we would pitch it to Jeffrey Katzenberg. And then he would rip them all apart. Jeffrey Katzenberg, who at the time was, was chairman of the Disney Studios and had great interest in animation, um, would always be pushing for what he called edge. And the Woody character became wildly unappealing at one point. Uh, Woody? Now oh, what? Uh, Woody, uh, I'm having a little difficulty. Slink, how hard can it be? We assembled this first, it was like maybe first half of the movie on story reels. And then we went down to Disney to screen it. And I tell you, I sat there and I was pretty much embarrassed with what was on the screen. I had made it. I directed everybody to do this, but it was like, it was, it was a story filled with the most unhappy, mean people. Where? No! All right, all right, all right! Save your batteries, people! Jeffrey said, well, why is this so terrible to me in the hallway? I said, well, because it's not their movie anymore. We've, it's completely not the movie that John set out to make. Everything kind of fell apart at that point, you know. Disney forced us to shut production down. We had, and they wanted us to lay people off, and we refused. We were getting threats that because it didn't work well, that you would have to go back down. We were all going to have to go down south and, and board, reboard the film under their supervision. And I said, just, you know, give us two weeks, and we'll turn things around. It was really very scary, and I think that's where we're, we really bonded as a group. I turned to our guys and I said, let's just make the movie we want to make. We worked day and night, Andrew, Pete, Joe, myself, our story team, our editorial team. And so we just really went 100% with our gut. Everybody's helping everybody else. It was like we became one mind in a way. I just remember laughing a lot, and drawing like crazy. And we were <laughs> drawing for our lives. I remember we got this like frenetic overdrive way of working. We learned to, to do the first pass so rough because we collectively would get all these ideas once we set up and we'd change pin. And we'd we knew what we were looking at. And right, we knew what we were right, looking at. Right. The other yeah. thing that was really important for me after that Black Friday screening was to make Woody likable. It was a real education in just filmmaking for us that like just because a character is has a problem or he's even not a likable person doesn't mean that they have to be an unlikable person on the surface. Right, because our goal was to make Woody so likable. Then when he started kind of becoming a jerk, it was like, oh, Woody, don't make those choices instead right. of, what a jerk. Right. 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 I don't care about this guy. It's not always bad in this process to have things not work. When you have these crashing things that happen, the rebuilding allows the thing to be so much better. After this experience, we learned a lot of things. The most important thing we learned was to trust our own instinct and to really to make the movies we wanted to make. Okay, now this is the reel that we showed on Black Friday before we re-envision Woody's character. It's, um, you know, it's bad, you know? <laughs> it's really bad. Um, it's kind of rough to watch these days. But I hate, for history's sake, I think it's important to see, you know. Um, so uh, this takes place right before they go to Pizza Planet. And all of the other toys are placing bets as to 
to to see who Andy's gonna take, either Woody or Buzz Lightyear. Woody! Ah, ah. I'd just like to wish you luck. I I I know you'd do the same for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Whoa! Oh! What? 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 What are you? What's everybody looking at? What? Hey, he slipped. I tried to. He. I couldn't hold that. It was an act. He slipped. Hey, oh, no. I don't see him. I think he fell onto the street. Yeah, he was as good as roadkill. <laughs> he ain't going to pizza now. Woody, you deliberately threw Buzz out the window. Hey, it's a toy, toy world. <gasps> Cowboy, where is your honor, dirtbag? You are an absolute disgrace. You don't deserve to wear a 10-gallon hat on your pint-sized head. Men, search and rescue. I want a medevac team on the double. Hey, Hustle up. Sorry. Move it, move it, move it. Hey, hey, hey spuds for brains. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Off the bed. Hey, off the bed. You gonna make us, Woody? No, he is. Slinky, slink, slink, slinky! Get up here and do your job. Are you deaf? I said take care of them. Uh, I'm sorry, Woody, but uh, I, I have to agree with them. I don't think what you did was uh, right. What? Am I hearing correctly? You don't think I was right? Who said your job was to think, Spring Wiener? Well, I, I just, just thought that you... Just use this vast well, reserve of brain power to consider this for a moment. If it wasn't for me, Andy wouldn't pay any attention to you at all. In fact, my sketchy friend, you would have been hauled away to Goodwill a long time ago, so shut your mouth and get them off the bed. Do it. Now, Slink, or I'm throwing you off. You're gonna have to throw the two of us off. Make that three. Count me in. No, Woody. You get your butt off the bed. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't believe this. <laughs> are, are you... Are you threatening me? Yeah. Get off the bed, ranch hand, and we're throwing you off. <laughs> you and what army? Here he is, that dirtbag! Frag him! Boo, boo, boo! Take no prisoners! Go for him! Go for the night! Kill, kill, kill! kill. kill. <laughs> One! Two! Stop! Uh, Don't throw him off the bed! Yeah! Throw him out the window like he did to Bud! Yeah. Yeah.